All right, Sultan's a swing up in the house. So Mark Knopfler up in this piece. Um, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Please don't forget to click on my little bass videos right down there if you want some extra tu tutorials that aren't on YouTube at all. And um, other than that, let's roll right up into this one. So you're gonna start on the fifth fret of the A string. Just like that, right? That's pretty much the rhythm. And what I'm doing there is I'm giving myself a little, a little ghost note. So I'm hitting the uh, fifth fret of the A string. Then I'm doing a little ghost note and then hitting again. Let's see if you can see my finger. Something like that. Right? And what that little fill is right there, that you're going to be on the fifth fret down to the third fret. It's on the A string, right? Then the fifth fret of the E string, then back up to the third fret of the A, and then the fifth fret of the A. So it's very simple, actually. It looks like this. And that's what he's doing in the beginning there before the lyrics and, and the lyrics actually come in on one of these when he's doing one of those fills that's when he starts singing um you get a shiver in the dark and what's funny is i always thought uh when i was younger heard us i always say he's saying you get a chevy in the dark like a 57 chevy i thought it was a car song ha ah! i didn't know what he was saying so when he comes in with the lyrics you're going to be going right and then you're going to do one more of just the fifth fret and then you're going to do this sweet little descending bass line, which uh, I'll just show it to you. Uh, so. Right, just like that. And what you're doing there is you're going from the fifth fret of the A string to the third. You're on the fifth, you're starting on the fifth fret. And then you're going to go fifth to third. Then third to the sixth fret of the E string. So it's going to look like. Right? And then from the 6th fret to the 5th fret. Just like that. Uh, and if you don't want to play this down here, you could always go up to the 1st fret. See that? Same note, here and here. Um, and then you're going to ride on that 5th fret of the E string for a little while. So it goes like this. something really cool I'll show it to you quick right what that is is you're just switching between the third fret of the A and third fret of the D right just like that and then you're gonna do a, a hammer on between the third and the fifth fret of the A and then back to the um, third fret of the D so it looks like this I'll do it slow like that so after you do that you're gonna hit the um, fifth fret of the A string and then the open A and then two quick hits on the third fret of the A string so you got so you're gonna hit two quick hits on the third fret and then rest and then hit another hit right always keeping that rhythm going once again I'll do it slow did right there was a little hammer on between the third and the fifth fret of the E string and then two more hits on the third fret of the A right so that whole thing I'll do it slow just like that okay for so for the next part uh, you're gonna be hitting the open A and then the first fret of the E and then the first fret of the A string. Remember, always keeping that rhythm. Just like that. So open, first fret of the E, first fret of the A. And then you're going to hit the third fret of the E, and then the first fret. And then you're going to do those uh, first fret of the A's again. So it looks like this. Just 
just like that. <clears throat> and then before he goes into the bam bam ba down bam, you're gonna be hitting the third fret of the um, of the E string, and an open, and then fifth fret of the A string. Right, so it looks like this. So you are just here. Right? So instead of hitting on the first frets over here at the A, you're hitting on the uh, fifth fret. So it looks like this. And then you're going to um, hit the third fret of the A string, right? And then the fifth fret of the E followed by the A. So you are at. Stop it there. And that's where he goes into the part that goes just like that. It's kind of the signature part. Um, and what you're doing there is you're hitting two hits on the first fret of the A string. And then you're going to give it a little ghost note. And then you're going to click up from the first uh, fret of the A string to the third fret. Just like this. And then two hits on that third fret. And then another hit. And he only does that one time, the first time that he does it. And after that part, you do this quick little fill. Kind of just gets you back into that descending bass line. Uh, what that is right there is uh, two hits on the third fret of the A. You're going to hit the open E and then fifth fret of the E. Then third fret of the A and then fifth fret. So I'll do it really slow. And then you go back into the. Right? And you do that um, same descending bass line that I showed you before. Okay, so the next part you'll hear after um, after he does those little descending parts uh, and and rides on the uh, fifth fret of E a little bit, you're gonna hear just like that. What is that part? What you're doing there is you're hitting the fifth fret of the um, E string followed by two hits on the uh, third fret of the D, just like that. third of the A. So fifth of the A, third of the A, and then first fret of the E string. And then you're going to get back up into that third fret of the A string with a little uh, hit on the um, first, I'm sorry, the open E, third fret of the E, and then you're back up to the third fret of the A string. Right? fill in there if you want. Just like that. Then you hop back onto the first fret of the um, of the A string. You can do a little uh, hammer on between the first and the third of the E. Right? Just like that. Then you do this fast little run uh, between the first fret of the A. You're going to go first. I'll just show you what it looks like. So you're going to go 1st fret of the A, 3rd fret of the E, 3rd fret of the A, and then up to the 5th fret of the A. Right? So it basically puts you back up on the 5th fret of the A is where you need to be. And then stop it right there. Because that's when you do more of these. This time when you do it, you're going to do it twice. <clears throat> and set it once, and you're going to hit the third fret of your E string, just like this. Just like that. So then there's a little lead in to the uh, real signature riff of the song, the chorus, and the lead in is just very simply hit the third fret of the A string, followed by the open E, and then third and the fifth. Right? And then comes the part you've all been waiting for. <clears throat> so what am I doing there? I'm hitting the 5th fret of the A string, 
three times actually, once and then twice. And then go right down to the third fret and then the first fret of the A. Right? Very simple. And then you're going to hit that first fret of the A string one more time. And then you do that sweet uh, hammer on between the first and the third of the E. So it looks like. Whoops. Right? And then you're going to go back up to that first fret again of the A. Then you're gonna hit that third fret of the A. You're on again, so real slow. And then a little fill. You're gonna hit the first fret of the A string and then the third fret of the E. So. And then to bring yourself back into it, you're gonna hit the um, fifth fret of the E and then the third. So. Just like that. So that part right there is my favorite part of this bass line. That's why I played it uh, in the beginning. What are you doing there? I ask you. You are, well what I'm doing is I'm hitting the 5th fret of the A string, right, once and then probably a little ghost note and then a second time, or you could just hit it the whole time. You can hit it three, three hits there. I think it sounds funkier if you give a little ghost note in there. Then you're hitting the 7th um, fret of the D string, followed by the 5th fret, right? Then you're going to go down to the 8th fret of the A string. And then you're going to be on the 6th fret of the E. So if I do that slowly, whoops, or if I do it incorrectly, that's where I hit. Right? And then you're going to hit that 3 times. Like that, and then you gotta kind of slide quickly uh, to get down over uh, up in this in this first position, because then you're going to be doing a hammer on between the first and the third fret. So it looks like see that it's pretty quick, just like that. So you're doing a hammer on between the first and the third of the E. And then you're hitting the first fret of the A and the open A. And then you're on the third fret of the A again. In that normal rhythm that pervades the song. And then, of course, you're going to give it the old first fret of the A, third fret of the E, and then back to the third again. Just like he kind of does throughout the song. And then you can slide back up into that position that you're at to start. So, um, see, I'll just do it from the beginning. See? What I do is, when I'm up here, I have my third finger on the third fret of the A string. And I just slide it up and then go from my third finger to my first finger. Just like that, to my pointer, when I start it over again. All right, some Sultans of Swing. It's a really fun bass line to, uh, to learn. It's, really, it's easy, and it's, it's kind of fun, and it grooves, you know, and it has a lot of ghost notes, which are cool. So I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Don't forget to click on the little clicker box right down there if you want to get some free bass lessons that are not on YouTube at all. You can always subscribe to Finbar Bass Bass Channel if you feel like it. And other than that, thank you so much for listening and for subscribing and for comments and all that kind of good stuff. And have fun with it.